for 40 years of the journey in the wilderness with the great I Am, sustaining them supernaturally, and yet Israel did not have eyes to see nor ears to hear. Though they fasted from earthly bread to partake only manna from heaven, they failed to intimately know their Ahaya. Instead, they ate the bread of doubt and drank the spirit of unbelief, bringing upon them deep sleep, sealing their eyes and ears. Is it any wonder then why only Joshua, Caleb, and the Israelites' children made it to the Promised Land? The rest drank the spirit of unbelief and fell in the wilderness. Prophet Isaiah likens their spiritual unbelief to a deep sleep, spiritual blindness leading to physical death. Disobedience to the Creator's commandment paves the way to death. Sin is the transgression of the law. Disobedience makes sinners. The soul that sins shall surely die. These are not legalistic statements. This is truth, written in the pages of the word of your Creator. Do you have ears to hear? If you cannot hear and see this simple truth, then your mind feeds on doubt as they did, and your heart drinks from the same fountain of unbelief. Think on this, even for a moment. Should the law of the Creator were to be allowed to be done away with, you and I and everything around us will fall in complete disarray. The elemental principles that holds all things together is the word of the Creator. The word is His commandments. Even the natural world obeys the law of nature. Can you honestly, without a shadow of doubt, believe that the spiritual law of the Most High, which are greater, is negotiable just for you, for your convenience? He gave you manna to eat in the wilderness, something your ancestors had never known, to humble and test you so that in the end it might go well with you. We nourish from the Word and are satisfied. We've built ourselves up and have settled down. The fruit of our labors have multiplied. Are we each in our own wilderness journey? Are we in a probationary period, in a time of testing, before proving worthy to enter into Mashiach's rest? Could it be that we are nearing the end of years of feeding manna from above? A period of time to be preparing and knowing our Maker. Manna in Hebrew means, what is it? The word is rooted in curiosity, bearing fruit of questions such as what, why, how long, and so forth. Curiosity is of elemental necessity to lead us to know Ahaya. Did you know? Forty years ago, in 1981, was when the word Internet was first mentioned. Could the advent of the internet embark us all on a wilderness wandering journey, going to and fro? Our questions answered by the tip of our fingers. Our curiosity satisfied in minutes. Our knowledge ever increasing at high speed. Our pursuit of knowledge inevitably touches both the good and evil. Do we fall prey in the deceit of calling evil good and good evil? Evil hidden in plain sight needs to be discerned.
Hear this, you elders. Listen, all who live in the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your days or in the days of your ancestors? Declare a holy fast. Call a sacred assembly. For the day of Yahuwah is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you.